Hello, hello everyone, Casey here. So for this month's monthly craft tutorial, I'm going to be doing this one instead of Sarah on my Glowforge, and I'm going to be creating an etched chalkboard eraser um, using my Glowforge for my daughter's teacher. And so I'm so excited. You get this free SVG. Um, it doesn't have Mrs. Randolph in it. I also put grades. And so you can actually customize this. You can put your own name underneath of it. We made it so that it has several different paths. So you aren't just stuck to what you see here. And you can either put your own name in there or your child's name, or you can also put a grade in there as well. And we include all of the grades from kindergarten all the way to 12th. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dig right in. Okay, so here's my Glowforge. What you wanna do first is open it up and pull out the crumb tray <laughs> because the erasers are too tall. And so your head on the Glowforge is going to hit the top of the eraser. So we have to take this out. And what you want to do is build up your height to be whatever the equivalent is. And so with your eraser combined with this material, it needs to try to, you need to try to get it to be the same size as what that crumb tray would be with the proof grade material on top of it. So once you've achieved that, put your eraser in there, try to get it as level as possible, and then we are ready to head on over to the computer. Okay, and so going over to the Glowforge software, you open up your new canvas. I'm just going to delete my design here. Go up to the plus sign, hit that, and then you're going to go over to upload and navigate to your SVG, click open, and while that's loading, I'm going to go up here and just select the materials. And I am going to just type in a um, medium maple plywood. Now that's what I'm going to set it to, but I'm actually going to edit the settings a little bit later on. But I wanted to show you these um, erasers that I got. I am also going to include the link to them where you're watching this video. So if you wanna grab these, these were a great price, they're good quality, and I really enjoyed having just a few of them to work with in case I messed up, which did happen while I was doing this craft tutorial. So I think you'll be happy to have extras should you mess up like me. Okay, so like I was saying, you have a lot of flexibility with the text here. You can delete the teacher's name, add your own, or you can interchange each of these grades. But I'm just going to delete them because I don't need those ones. And then this is my design right here. So I'm just going to move it over and resize it right over my eraser. And you might even have to just um, angle this a little bit to get it really lined up. I like to use the edge of my eraser to help with that. So I'll select my artwork and then I'll line the top line up with the edge of the eraser. Then you'll wanna make sure that you go over to the settings and select engrave so that both of these are set to engrave. And then we are going to set customizations to the um, material that we're print that we're cutting on and so you want to change it to 900 for the speed and then about 99 98 for the precision power and then do the same with the other layer or however many layers are in your design and then that's it we just hit print and we are going to wait for that to load into the Glowforge. And we're ready to go. I'm so excited to see this. Let's head on over and watch the magic happen.
I just love how intricate the Glowforge can get when it engraves. It's so simple, but it is a very lasting gift that you can give to any of your teachers, or you could even um, engrave for a principal. Um, it's a fun little gift to give, and it's something fun that would work as a little children's, um, maybe a playroom eraser too. So love, love, love it. Hope you enjoyed the free SVG. Be sure to grab that down below where you're watching this video. Also, I link to the uh, fonts that I use and then as well as the erasers too. All right, until next time, bye.